It's that time of year again when a jolly man dressed in bright red brings gifts to children. Well, this deck also revolves around a jolly man dressed in red bringing gifts to your playgroup. And by man, I mean a robot. By red, I mean he's rust colored. And by gifts, I mean pain. Lots of pain. Welcome to today's deck tech featuring Big Daddy Bosch, the Iron Golem. This blast from the past commander got some significant new toys recently and we are looking to put them to work. Before we dive into the mechanical giant, be sure to like, comment, subscribe. It goes a long way to supporting the channel, and with that out of the way, let's go bowling. Nice shot! Bosch Iron Golem is an 8 mana, 6 7 legendary artifact creature golem with trample that says pay 3 generic and 1 red mana, sacrifice an artifact. Bosch Iron Golem deals damage equal to the sacrificed artifact's mana value to any target. So, what is the deck looking to do? Well, play big artifacts, of course. We aim to play big artifacts, then using our commander to launch those right into our opponent's faces. But, as an optional strategy, you could also just turn them sideways. For creatures, which make up usually a lot of what we're going to be throwing, we have Hedron Crawler, Iron Mirror, Mannequin, Mirror Retriever. Audacious Reshapers is a fantastic card in this deck because for the most part you are dropping a huge artifact for minimal life. Burnished Heart, Felden of the Third Path to recur any of our massive artifact creatures to get into some quick damage or to fling with Bosch. Palladium Mirror, Salvager of Ruin is a nifty little card that pairs well with either Metalwork Colossus or Suchi Caveguard. Scarecrone, Scrap Trawler, Scrap Welder, Thopter Engineer, Tomacool Scrapsmith, Workshop Assistant, Joyros Familiar, Kirkesh Onaki Ancient. Doubling Bosch's effect for one red mana? Yes, please. Geode Golem, Bosch is a big boy, and the sooner we can get him out, the better. Ruin Grinder, Blitz Automaton, Mere Battle Sphere, Sandstone Oracle, Sojourner's Companion, Falahi, Dragon Engine, <coughs> Suchi Cave Guard, and Metalwork Colossus, one of the best creatures in this deck and a huge part of our win condition. Now let's go over the instants and sorceries. Starting with the sorceries, we have Cathartic Reunion, Seize the Spoils, Trash for Treasure, Trading Up Artifacts is always a good thing. Chain Reaction, Geosurge, most of what you are casting are artifacts, so essentially jumping from 4 mana to 7 is huge. Madcap Experiment, most of the time is a huge upside, dropping something huge into play and losing minimal life. Imposing Grandeur for card draw, Scrap Mastery is a game ender most of the time when we cast it. Insult Slash Injury, doubling Bosch's damage turns already massive damage into game ending damage. And over the top is great for getting out several of our massive artifacts. For instance, we have a braid, cathartic pyre, thrill of possibility, and big score. Artifacts are another big chunk of the deck, mostly made up of mana rocks. Starting off, we have fire diamond, mind stone, moon sliver key, prismatic lens, prize statue, glittering stockpile, navigation orb, replication ring, sculpting steel, hedron archive. Prototype Portal can help us get multiple copies of either big artifacts or multiple mana rocks. Sisse's Ring, Slagstone Refinery is going to help us make power stones for our other artifacts or for being fuel for Bosch's ability. Ergolem's Eye, Horizon Stone to help turn unused mana into something at a later date, and Mirror Works to help us double up on our big artifacts. As far as enchantments go, we have Quest for Pure Flame, Bitter Reunion, Descent into Avernus, is both helping us ramp ahead to our big commander, but it also helps us sack artifacts for Metalwork Colossus to come back to be flung again, not to mention it's slowly whittling down our opponent's life total as well, which is great for us. Pia's Revolution will help us either whittle down our opponents or put one in a tough spot, where they have to give us our card back. Arms Race is sneak attack, but for artifacts, do I need to say how good that is? Lastly, Gratuitous Violence is going to make the big man's damage even bigger. We run one Planeswalker into Ready Scrap Savant. He is the whole package. Card looting to dump big artifacts, which we can then reanimate, sack an artifact to get another, and if by some chance we get his ultimate off with something like Suchi Cave Guard, oh, it's a wrap for our opponents. For lands, we run Buried Ruin, Dark Steel Citadel, Myriad Landscape, Temple of the False God, and 32 Mountains. The deck as of recording is $27 on TCG Player. If you like the deck and want to upgrade, Mycosynth Golem will give all of our artifacts affinity, Goblin Welder for better recursion, Goblin Engineer to dump important artifacts into our graveyard. Since most of our artifacts are also creatures, Sneak Attack will work wonders. Of course, a Soul Ring and an Arcane Signet go without saying. Neheb the Eternal to turn our huge damage into more mana, which we can then turn into more damage. And Skitterbeam Battalion can make two copies of its nine mana body to be flung right into your opponent's face. 
Boch may be an old dog, but he can still pick up new tricks. Comment a commander you would like to see built on a budget, and I'll catch you in the next one. Happy Holidays!